In this video, we'll look at how to divide a cubic using long division. The cubic given is x cubed minus 7x minus 6, and we're dividing it by x minus 3. So it works a lot like division that you did back in grade school, I hope you learned long division then, except it's with polynomials. So we put on the outside here the divisor, x minus 3, and on the inside we need our dividend, the thing we're dividing, x cubed, but we're going to have to fill in the blank for the x squareds that aren't here, and there are zero x squareds, so we need a zero here. We need something. In this case, there's nothing, but we have to put a placeholder. It's zero x squared. We write our other terms down, minus 7x minus 6. Okay. Now, we want to make this x into this x cubed. What times x makes x cubed? The answer is x squared. x squared times x makes x cubed. Put it in the x squared column. And just check, x squared times x, yeah, that's x cubed. In fact, that's our next move. We're going to go x squared times x to get x cubed. And x squared times negative 3 to get minus 3x squared. And we'll subtract. I put the minus in a circle to remind myself, subtract each column x cubed minus x cubed gives nothing. It better. The whole setup was to make sure we got the same thing here, so when we would subtract, we get nothing. And 0 take away minus 3 is 0 plus 3, so that gives positive 3x squared. Okay, bring the next number down. It's a negative 7x. Now, we're just looking at this front term. How do we make 3x squared based on x? We want to multiply something times x to get 3x squared. The answer is going to be times 3x. And since it's positive, we put a plus here. 3x times x indeed gives us 3x squared. So we're going to multiply this 3x on both these things, just like we did the x squared on both these things previously. Now it's 3x times x. That gives 3x squared, which we wanted, so it'll subtract out to 0. And 3x times negative 3 gives negative 9x. Subtract everything and put the circle to remind me. 3x squared minus 3x squared gives 0. That's good. Minus 7x minus minus 9 is minus 7x plus 9, which of course gives 2x. And we have one more thing to bring down, this time just a minus 6. And we want to figure out what goes here, and that will be whatever times x gives 2x which pretty obviously is 2, because 2 times x gives 2x. And now we multiply 2 times both these terms, so 2 times x, 2x, and 2 times negative 3, ah, negative 6, it went in perfectly. We're going to subtract both these things, 2x take away 2x is nothing, and minus 6 take away a minus 6 is minus 6 plus 6, which gives 0. We've done it, we've divided a cubic by long division, Here's our answer. It's this quotient here. So we'll write that out. Therefore, final answer, we've got this x cubed minus 7x minus 6 polynomial. We divided it by x minus 3, and what we got is x squared plus 3x plus 2. If we'd gotten some sort of remainder, we would have had to reword it a different way. You couldn't write it quite like this. So just to show you, you could write your final answer alternatively, or I'll put another way to say it, if you had a remainder you would have wanted to show it x cubed minus 7x minus 6 is equal to x minus 3 times, that's our divisor, times our quotient, and then plus the remainder. You couldn't just tack on the remainder here because then it would be added onto this, that, that wouldn't be right, you'd have an incorrect polynomial. So when it divides in evenly, you can write your therefore like this. But at all times, including if there's a remainder, you can write, okay, my polynomial that I was dividing equals the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder. And in this case, the remainder is zero. We've done it. We've divided a cubic using long division.